Hey everybody, Mrs. Bueller here. This is our next project. It's called the Soda Can Sculpture using Proportion. As you can see, Proportion is a principle of design. It's the next principle we're gonna jump into, learning more about. Typically, when someone says something is in proportion, it means that the sizes are correct or accurate. So I'm gonna challenge you to make something in proportion using soda cans. There are some alternatives at the end of this video if soda cans are not a possibility for you. But these figures are out of proportion and sometimes they're that way to make them funny or creepy. I recommend using something from nature, just easier to replicate using these materials. So I chose an insect, I chose a dragonfly. So these are just some of the random tools I found around my house. You can get by with just a pair of scissors, possibly a nail or a pin. There is a proportion reference sheet for you also posted <clears throat> on Google Classroom. So I cut the can. It wasn't really that difficult, but my edges aren't that great. I found an image online of a dragonfly and I actually was able to hold my paper up to my screen and trace it. So if you'd like to do that, you have your own personal light box. So I cut out the wings first because that was the main area I wanted to, to cut out from the flat piece of can. And I was able to curl the metal over a screwdriver or pencil. I found pieces that looked like eyes. I rolled another piece to look like the body. Um, and I did actually struggle to make sure that the wings were the right size compared to the body. So I had to adapt some of that a little bit. You can see I also added some texture. I was playing around with using a push pin and a nail. And I didn't like the way that the Sharpie looked, so I took the Sharpie off with some rubbing alcohol. Or you could use hand sanitizer if you happen to have some of that. I was pretty annoyed that the metal ripped so easily. I think it was the type of can I was using. Believe it or not, the edges aren't very sharp. You're more likely to get poked when you cut it and it creates a sharp point. But I used some tape. You could also, um, if you don't have tape, try folding the metal. If you fold it back and forth too much, it can just break. So it can be a little bit frustrating, but it's actually pretty cool once you get it. So by the end, I was able to create an in-proportion dragonfly. I did have to use a little bit of tape to fix it. And um, is about the size of my hand. And I was able to accomplish this in less than an hour. So if you I have these materials and would like to give this a try. You can make some pretty uh, cool metal sculptures. There are lots of options for this project. So perhaps you find another method or another metal material that you can recycle. It doesn't have to be extremely realistic in terms of characters or images, but it should be somewhat realistic and about the size of your hand. Uh, I think this camera is pretty cool. So if you're into photography, that might be a fun one to do. There are also some great videos on YouTube, um, a wind chime, if that's something you're more interested in, how to make that metal rose. There's also the um, soda can garden flowers where they actually uh, color them with Sharpie. You might want to really challenge yourself and create a vehicle. This is a challenger. Or go a little more flat, cut a shape out and try to emboss it which makes it more 3D. If that really bothers you, you are allowed to use aluminum foil to sculpt with. It isn't as challenging as the can and you might not like the overall result as much, but if the can is a little intimidating to you or you're afraid of getting cut, uh, feel free to use aluminum foil to crush it and create your own proportional uh, figures. So you can see animals and insects work quite well, but again, you could do objects. So if that really can be something you can tolerate. I will also accept an alternative drawing assignment where you take a can, you crush it, and using at least five values, you try to create a realistic, in proportion drawing of a crushed can. It's a fairly common art assignment. This might be something you're more interested in. Again, there's still lots of things online that you can use to complete this project. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks so much, bye.